Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing the Ninja Foodie 2 Basket Air Fryer. As you can see, I haven't even opened this box yet and I am going to be doing this with you guys on camera. This one is so cool. I've heard such good things about this air fryer and I'm finally upgrading to this one. I've had the Kasui air fryer from Amazon for about two and a half years now and that one is on a recall now so I do have to get rid of that and they will be sending me a brand new one. But meanwhile, I needed an air fryer because I cannot live without an air fryer i make just about everything in my air fryer so i cannot wait to see what this one does for me so if you guys want to see an unboxing uh first impressions mini review and a demo of this air fryer keep on watching this one is super cool because it has a lot of options it is the eight quart capacity it has two quart quart basket air broil air fry rose preheat dehydrate hmm. i don't have that option on my old air fryer so i'm not sure how that one works that's exciting and bake so this one also has a few different options because this one has two baskets in comparison to my old air fryer which only has one this one has a two so i kind of want to see how that works anyways i am really excited to open this so let's get to it okay so as soon as i open the box um there is i believe the instruction manual in here let's see what, what it has just a couple of warning um then it has the Kickstarter recipes. I can already see that it has the French fries, which I feel like pretty much everyone makes in the air fryer. Same thing in French because I'm in Canada, so we get both English and French. And then we have a quick start guide, which just basically shows you how to use the air fryer. Plus it has a couple of different recipes. I don't know about you guys and if anybody actually uses these recipes. I know some people do. I have not. I don't think I've even used a single recipe from my old air fryer and unlike, unlike most people, I like to try to figure things out on my own even though there is an instruction manual. There's an owner's guide right here. I do keep everything just in case I want to return it or there is a missing piece or anything like that so I end up keeping these and it also works great if you want to resell for any reason if you're upgrading if you get a new gift. This one for me was a gift also so let's keep those. Wow, this looks really nice. All right, this is what the air fryer looks like. Very sleek and modern design, looks very nice. And this one is the first basket, it is labeled number one. And then the second basket here, which is labeled number two, I believe they can only go in the slot that they're meant for. They can't go in just any slot. So number one will go here and number two will go here. They also have some instructions and stuff on the side for whatever you are cooking um, right here as well. We'll do a close up of that. And then this is a display screen right here. I'll plug that in. But for now, it says air broil, air fry, roast, preheat, dehydrate, bake. And then we have a smart finish option and a match cook option. And this is what you would use if you're using two different types of foods, two different ways of cooking, finishing at the same time, which is the smart finish option, which is right here. Honestly, I am learning this at the same time as you guys since I just unboxed this in front of you guys. These are my first impressions. I think this looks really sleek. The design is very cool, very modern looking. The color is very nice. Here we have the cook time and temperature for the match cook option. Chicken, fries, broccoli, sausage, fries, and fish. This is the single zone cooking. Baskets are really easy to open and close. Okay, so I just plugged it in. Let's turn it on for the first time together. Okay, so when you turn the air fryer on, it is 
giving us the option for the first basket first and these were blinking so i'm going to assume that we are going to select one of these options first once again it has the option to air broil air fry roast preheat dehydrate and bake i am going to select air fry because this that is why i bought this air fryer and that is the function that i am probably going to use the most once we do that, it is giving us the option for temperature and the temperature settings are right here. Let's see how low this one goes. Okay, it goes down to 300 Fahrenheit and let's see how high it goes. And the highest setting is 400 Fahrenheit. And once we select the setting, I believe we, if we're using one basket, we can just hit start, which is the play button right here and it has started for us. Okay, I am just going to pause that. It's not that loud with the one basket. Let's see how it is with both the baskets running, how loud it gets. So I'm going to select the second basket. I am also going to hit air fry here as well. Select the temperature for this one. We're just picking something random because obviously we have nothing in there as of right now. Um, Oh, sorry. Yep, air fry. And then there we go. Okay, so both of it started at 20 minutes. Okay, so I just want to show you how loud it gets with both of the baskets running. So honestly, not too bad. Still very quiet probably the same as my old air fryer even with two baskets so so far so good let's get to cooking i just want to go over the different settings that this one has this one has the air broil which is add the crispy finishing touches to a meal or melt toppings to create the perfect finish and then we have the air fry option which the manual says is to use this function to give your food crispiness and crunch with little to no oil then we have the roast option which is use the unit as a roaster oven for tender meats and more you can also reheat your food here warm up your leftovers with a crispy result i love reheating pizza in air fryers because they turn out so good instead of using the microwave if you use the air fryer to warm up your pizza it does not get soggy and it still gives you that perfect crust and then we have the dehydrate option which i have never used i don't even know how to work this option my old air fryer didn't have this option so i'm kind of curious to see what this one does it says dehydrate meat fruits and vegetables for a healthy snack hmm. This one's really interesting i might try this if you guys want me to try this and do a review on it let me know in the comments section down below and i will do that and then it also has the bake option create decadent bake treats and desserts the options that it has over here is a smart finish setting is automatically syncs the cooking time to ensure both zones finish at the same time even if they are different cooking times so for example if you're making maybe chicken wings and fries and the chicken wings are going to take 40 minutes as the fries are going to take 20 so the air fryer will We'll start cooking the chicken wings first and then at 20 minutes when it has 20 minutes left it will start cooking the fries so they both finish at the same time and i love that option because that way you have both things at the same time instead of the fries being done i don't know about you guys in my house if something is done before it gets eaten first and then we have the second thing which usually gets left over so this is perfect for my family it's that function and then we have the match cook button option which automatically matches zone two settings those of zone one want to cook a larger amount of the same food or cook different foods using the same function temperature and time interesting that's just a quick overview of the functions on this ninja i got my air fryer from best buy this was a gift from my husband so he did pick this up from best buy i believe they sell it in a whole bunch of different places and the price range varies it was on sale for 169 canadian dollars plus tax obviously because we pay taxes here so it ended up being about a hundred and ninety dollars um i'm going to wash the baskets and then maybe wipe down the whole air fryer because that's what i like to do when i get a new appliance and then we will get to making something in this air fryer to see how it works okay for the demo portion of this video i am going to make some chicken tenders and also some seasoned fries i want to use both the baskets today see how the smart finish works on this new air fryer i have some chicken breasts here cut into long strips with some seasoning 
things on here. I am just going to dip this in my breadcrumbs right here. I'm just going to do that with all the chicken. Then we can place this in the air fryer. Okay, so before I do anything, I am going to preheat this air fryer. I noticed that this air fryer doesn't have a preheat option. I'm just going to set it at the highest temperature um, and preheat for five minutes. So let's see. I'm going to preheat both the baskets because I am using both the baskets today. And this part is very important, I believe, for an air fryer. Always preheat your air fryer. Then we'll do the second basket. Just hit number two, air fry again. First thing, select the temperature. And that's the highest temperature it goes to. Then we'll select the time, five minutes, and start. Okay, once the air fryer is done preheating, I'm going to put the chicken strips in the first basket. And the first basket, I'm going to spray with some cooking oil first. And the basket, because there are two, each basket is quite small. So I am just going to place the chicken tenders, line them up. I don't want to over overdo it because they're not frozen. I believe if you're using frozen chicken nuggets or tenders, you can probably pile them up on top of each other. But these ones are fresh, so I'm just going to do a single layer like this. And then I'm going to spray on some more cooking oil. That's basket one. And then basket two I have here. And basket two, I am going to put in some home cut fries. This one I already added two tablespoons of olive oil in. And these fries are seasoned, so I'm just going to add this in now. If you want to use frozen fries, you can. But I always make home cut fries, so I really want to see how this works in here. My old air fryer does a really good job at this, so this, not overcrowding the basket. Okay, and I am just going to turn this on. I'm just following the instructions on the side here. It says if I'm using chicken plus fries, I am going to put the chicken at 390. So first, this is uh, the first basket, so I'm going to hit air fry, and I'm going to set the temperature to 390 like it says. And the time it says is 28 to 32 minutes. I'm just going to go with the 32, and then we can check on it in the middle. It's going to take some trial and error with this air fryer since it's brand new, and I'm not sure how the temperature settings are going to work on here. And then once that's done, I'm going to hit basket number two air fry again and i have the fries in there and it says the fries are going to take about the same 28 to 32 minutes for the fries i'm going to turn it up to 400 and then the time i just for the purpose of this video i want to test out the smart finish function so i'm not going to set it for the same time i'm going to do maybe for the fries a little less let's see let's see about 28 minutes and then let's start and see how this goes. I might have to hit this first, okay? And then we can press start. So as you can see, it's holding the fries off until it is at the 28 mark, 28 minute mark with the chicken, and then the fries will start cooking. Okay, so it's almost at the 28 minute mark. So let's see if it just turns on by itself. Oh, and there you go. Okay, so I'm here halfway through. I just want to check on the on the chicken and the fries. So one thing I noticed is that I need to pause before I pull the basket out because it doesn't automatically stop like my old air fryer. So just keep that in mind that you do need to hit the pause button when you need to check on your food in between. Otherwise, it just keeps running. Um, but you can pull the basket out. So I don't know how safe that is. But I did check on the chicken earlier and I noticed the temperature that I set it to, which it said 390. Maybe I should have just checked the manual instead to see if there were any cooking instructions for chicken tenders. But I just went with this over here and I noticed the temperature was too high. So I did turn it down to 350 for the tenders. And this is halfway through and this is what they look like. I am going to flip them now. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit of a trial and error with a new air fryer just because the temperature settings are sometimes off been in comparison to what i have been using the temperature settings are slightly different and i'm honestly used to my old air fryer so this is going to be a learning curve for me so i'm just going to flip these chicken tenders and then pop them back in and then we'll check on the fries spray it again with some cooking oil there we go let's put that back in and then let's take a look at the fries okay so they do look like they're cooking Ooh, they might actually be almost done. Okay. 
Let's pop them in so we can get them a little bit crispy. And then we'll check on these in a few minutes. We have about 15 minutes left on both things. So let's check on it. And I'm not sure if it's going to need the full 15 minutes, but we'll see. Okay, so I did check on the chicken again. And once again, I noticed even at 350, it was burning a little. So I turned it down to 325. And I think I'm just going to take this out now. As you can see, the temperature was too high at 350. 90 and then once again when I turned it down at 350 I think that was still a little too high so I think 320 around 320 would have been really good so we'll try another batch of these but these are done so I'm just gonna take these out let's check on the fries the fries still have nine minutes and 25 seconds left on them and even the fries look pretty done to me okay I'm gonna let them go for a little bit longer so they can get a little crispy and even though I added oil in them already I'm just gonna hit it with a little more oil and let's see if that helps with it getting even more crispy. Okay, so I just got to figure out how to turn the first one off now that I'm not using the first basket anymore. Let's see if I can just hit that and then stop. Nope. That just played it again. Um, I ended up just putting it to zero. Let's see if that works. Okay, so that's just done. Okay, so I'm just gonna stop the fries at this point. There, there are still three minutes left, but the fries look really good. And they look nice and crispy and done. I don't know if you can hear that, but. Crispy, nice. Whew, hot. So yeah, I did a really good job with the fries. You just have to play around with the settings a little to figure out the exact time for home cut fries. Um, and obviously it depends on how you like your fries, if you like them really crispy or a little soft. These ones, I feel like that you get a little bit of both. So some of them are really crispy and some of them are a little more on the soft side and I prefer it like that. So these turned out really good. Obviously the whole purpose of doing the fries and the chicken was so they can finish at the same time, but that didn't really work out. I do have some chicken left and I'm gonna put it in both baskets and see how that goes. This time I'm gonna make sure that I turn the temperature down a little bit. I was using the guide that was already on the air fryer and I think that's just for like regular chicken without breadcrumbs on it and obviously breadcrumbs burn a little bit quicker. So even though the other batch is fully cooked, it just burnt a little bit on the outside. So this time I'm going to just turn the temperature down a little bit and see if that helps. All right, so these chicken tenders are done and they definitely look a lot better than the first batch. I cooked these ones at 315 for about 30 minutes. I did flip them halfway through and then spray them with a little bit more oil and they look pretty good. Just gonna grab one here, very crispy on the outside. So I think it did a really good job. The only thing I noticed about this air fryer in comparison to my old air fryer is that it didn't beep halfway through. My old air fryer would beep halfway through so I can give the basket a good shake or spray it with a little more oil or flip whatever's in there. And this one doesn't have that function, which is a little disappointing, but I did have to keep in mind to come back halfway through and do all of that. And let's take a look at how it cut. Whew. This one again into the chicken. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and a mini demo of this Ninja Foodie air fryer. I think I'm gonna need a little more time to play around with the settings and maybe try out a couple new recipes. And I might post another 
review of this in the coming months so stay tuned for that and make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss that and if you guys like this video make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up i would really appreciate it and until next time thank you for watching